we're going to take a really quick look at how you can use Microsoft Windows Task Scheduler to be able to automate opening a Microsoft Excel document. Be able to automate this task. Totally hands free, as long as your computer's up and running at the specified time when you want the task to take place, Windows is going to do the rest of the work and then we can hand it off to Excel to do whatever that Excel document is going to do. So take a look. This is how you can use Windows Task Scheduler. So first step, uh, I've got an Excel document. It's just called Sample Task 01. This is going to be the document that I'm going to ask the task scheduler to open up at a specified time during the day. So first step is you create that document, whatever that document is. Next step is I'm going to go open up the task scheduler utility. So I'm going to go down into my start menu and I'm just going to search for task scheduler. And there it is, first one on my list. All right, give it a moment to open it up. Once it's opened, this is what our standard task scheduler looks like. I'm going to go up into my action menu and I'm going to go create a ba basic task. All right, there are four little steps and perhaps a couple little sub steps, but four basic steps to creating a basic task. First step, we're going to give our task a name. So I'm just going to generically call this Open Excel Doc. All right, you get more descriptive with it. You can give it a description if you'd like to and so on. Uh, but that's our first step, getting the initial task set up. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit next. This takes me to step two, which is the triggers. So I want this to take place daily. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it set to daily. I'm going to hit next. Now here's one of the sub steps, uh, and this is sub step of the trigger step. I get to tell it, well, when it should start, uh, and it's going to occur every day. Uh, so I can specify the time. Right now, it's just captured what the date and time is that's currently on my system at this moment. Uh, but I can specify that whenever. Maybe this is going to happen at 4 o'clock p.m. in your day before you leave the office. Or perhaps it happens after hours. This is a report that we're going to automate through this Excel document that's going to happen later on once everybody's out of the office. Right after I've gone home, I can't manually run this report. Let's get the task scheduler and Microsoft Excel to work together to be able to refresh the data or import new data or generate this report. So I'm just going to leave it set to default for now, but it's all stuff that you can manipulate. So I'll hit next. Next step is the action. What do you want to have actually take place? What is this task all about that you're going to automate daily at that time? Well, in this particular instance, I'm going to leave it set to start a program. So I'll hit next again. And here's another sub step. I got to tell it, well, which program am I starting up here? Now I'm going to get a little more specific than just the program because I'm going to tell it a specific file that I want to open within that program, a specific Excel document. So I'm going to go to browse and inside of my computer area out on my OneDrive account, we'll go to my blog, go into the uh, files, and I've got one in here for a sample task. I'll go ahead and grab that. All right, so I'm looking at a very specific file within Excel that I want to have start up. So one last step, I'm going to hit next. And that's really it. I'm just going to confirm what's happening within there and I'll finish. So I've now created this new task within the Windows Task Scheduler that at a specific time in the day, every day, will open up Excel and specifically open up that specific document. Completely hands off. As long as your computer's up and running, hasn't shut down, you didn't shut it down before you left the office, it will run for you. Pretty slick. I'm going to go ahead and close the, the task scheduler. Now, I'm not going to give you a little preview of it. We can wait till tomorrow at this time again. No, but uh, it's going to do it all for you. Save you loads of time automating this task.